Um, Arts and crafts master. Why did I always have this glue gun stuck to my arm? E e e e e e e. Twenty five months. Love my home here at the moat. I learned my lesson and will only do less than thirty three megano two lol. <laughs> oh man. E e e e e. <laughs> Luna. <clears throat> My goodness, thank you so much for the 25 months with that uh, with that Twitch Prime. <clears throat> Excuse me, holy cow. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Allison. <sighs> Less than 333,000. <laughs> um, Georgina, in answer to your question, since since it seems a little bit calmer, I don't necessarily even have a ton of pain in my hand. Every now and then, the way that I'm sitting, I feel it kind of like twitch or things like that. It will hurt a little bit. The majority of my pain is right here. Hold on, I can't see. It's right here. Like when I did that, like I felt it down here. And on the back side, like where my shoulder blade is, that's where the most pain is right now. Um, I do know that if I like rub here, <laughs> wait, wait, but if you do the if you do the fifty show love ones, you know how like it reads that if you show love one show love. Could you do the sh the show loved ones and then ease? Would it con- oh. <clears throat> We have a broken dolphin. I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. Sam, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh gosh, less than- Oh no, we're not gonna make it. 94%, we're so close to level 3. Um... And it obviously, it, like, this area hurts, like, the meaty part right here of, like, your thumb. That area. Again, it doesn't actively hurt, but if I rub it, it feels good. <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh, my goodness. E -e. <laughs> See, now, if someone clips that, it could end up in the next raid video. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And you can feel it in your lower arm. Yeah, here. I have my, my thing on, but like right right by my elbow. I feel it like in this, like this muscle here. In between like all of that. Eating lunch and laughing. <laughs> Oh, that was fantastic. No, I do too. So I get repetitive strain injury mini. Um, but the weird thing is, is that it's normally in my right hand. It's normally my right hand and shoulder that I get this pain because this is the one that does the repetitive motion. What I think happened here was when I was holding this out of the hoop the other day, because like ho doing it like this again hurts. So if I hold, holding it like in between like that and then pinching, I just, I think that I just aggravated this muscle and it's amazing how the muscles in like your hand can be aggravated, but it affects like all the way up to your neck. Like it's, it's ridiculous. So I think that that's what caused it because I can't think of anything else. Like I can't. So we're going to attempt to do some crochet. Um, we're also, first we're going to do a sticker giveaway. Oh, hold on, wait, we can use the fancy bot, since it's just one sticker. Um, but what I do know is that I have been able to do some knitting over the weekend, and that has not been bothering it, so maybe we'll do some of that. Um, one thing that I've been working on, so y'all know, y'all know my Aunt Shirley, um, give away. E sticker. Okay. Alright. There we go. Type exclamation point sticker in the chat. 
to enter. You must be a follower. If you're not, see, it's going to say this. Evidently, I can't follow my own channel. So, anyway, um, Aunt Shirley, train of thought came back. So, I inherited a do exclamation point sticker, by the way. Ex like, put the exclamation point in front to enter. There you go. There you go. It should, you should get a notification that you entered. Um, one of the things that she used to do was make hats. She made a lot of hats every winter. Every winter. Or I guess I should say every year. And then she donated a lot of them. Um, every year we got to pick like a new hat for ourselves if we needed one and then we would bring the rest to like my church and there was um they had like a winter clothing donation place well i inherited a lot of her yarn and i inherited some of her projects as well like i i divvied up yarn and supplies like knitting needles and stuff amongst the other cousins who also knit but i took the projects that she had started so this weekend i finished this hat that she had started it was like this much done so I finished it and I love it hold on wait ready these are these were just they're known as Aunt Shirley hats they're just that's what they are um, everyone in my family has one James has them um, my favorite thing that I did this weekend though with this was I took this hat sort of apart this was one that she had made um this is the only one of hers that I finished so far like these these are some of her ones that like this is one that James picked um I'm pretty sure this is one of mine I don't know but I was able to count the stitches right and I already had this one cast on so I was able to like count the stitches but and I could count the rows but I was really struggling with what she did with her decreases. So the way that she did these was she would, she knits them flat like this. This is another one that she started. Um, again, this one was only about this much done. And so I've done the rest. Um, so what I did was I, I undid the seam on this hat and then I, basically just like sat there like this and I was able to figure out where she put her decreases like what her pattern was so I was able to figure it out and do it for this one and now I'm almost done with this one and I have some more yarn and some things like that but I thought it would be kind of cool um it's funny because this one this one was cast on pretty snug like so I continued in that pat, like the same, um, like I tried to keep the same tension, but this one was cast on much looser. And so I tried to keep the same thing with that too. Cause like this one, I mean, it also hasn't been worn, but you can see that like, it definitely has like a more snug kind of look to it. Um, so I don't know if y'all would want to end, hold on, they're on. There are, oh, by the way, make sure you type exclamation point sticker in chat if you want to enter the sticker giveaway. That will end in just a few minutes. They're on, they're on metal needles. So there's that real good clicky clack. Um, serotonin, I guess, that you get from uh, exclamation point sticker. Like this, we're using the fancy bot. My favorite needles, yeah. It's been it's been a very pleasing sound weekend. <laughs> um, so I figure that we could try to start on Han, unless you all are like, no, just go right to knitting. Um, but I figured I figured we could start Han and then do some of this. Um, also, hello to Connie and to Louise, welcome. I'm here for whatever you want.
See, look, I've, I've even got, this, this is her basket. This was what sat next to her chair. And like, there's yarn that she had for these hats. Hello. What do you think? Um, hi. I'm working on some hats. Boop. Some hats. My bangs are done. I have to trim them, I guess. I don't know. I thought that I had just done that, but evidently they don't want to behave, so. Connie, you won the sticker! Also, evidently Artemis says this. So, <laughs> Artie, um, let me know which sticker you want. Artie code. Yep. I'm going to go add it to her code section of the discord cat code. Oh, you're going to add some more. You can. No, you're just going to sit there. Okay. Um, You was so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, is it really? Are you trying to send a secret message? Mo is your home. You got it. I got an email from Redbubble saying that that design is being looked at for like copyright. I'm like, what? <laughs> or like some kind of I don't know, there's evidently some kind of like design contest going on or something and they're like reviewing it and I'm like, please leave it alone. Please. <laughs> I mean, I can always make more of these. It's just like if you wanted to order them on Redbubble, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. Need another cross stitch this weekend? What did you cross stitch? There are so many worse things that you could be addicted to making. Where are we at with this? So I have I have 12 more rows on this. So do we want to finish this and then move on to Han? I don't even know how well it'll fit on camera. I guess I should probably try that too. Look at these. <gasps> oh, it's a cold stick. Is that the best? Here, I do the not pointy end. It's a cold stick. I'm surprised you haven't tried to lick it yet. All right, y'all are saying finish first, so.
See, I think that it'll fit, except maybe not with the cat. <laughs> I love it when they yawn and like their whole jaw basically just comes unhinged. It's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yes, I must rub on this. This is a little bit tricky right now because you're here. You want to sit on my lap again? She's like, no. No, I don't. Oh well, yeah, you should have looked out the window. It's open. Move this up a smidge. Come on. Come on. Come over here. <laughs> but I'm going to hit her with the knitting needles and I don't want to do that. There's a girl. All right. <laughs> She's like, oh, you took the camera away from me? Hopefully, yeah, now we can actually see. How'd your first snow today? Yeah, it's, it's cold here. It was wild. We went from, like, windows open, um, and just, like, shorts to close everything up, put the heat back on. Like, you're gonna wanna wear layers. <laughs> Had snow, but nothing accumulating. Watch your tail, the <laughs> hands while I'm holding. Yeah, right? Oh my gosh, that's always when they're like, hello, I would like an attention now. Please. Please pay attention to me. So I don't know, I'll probably end up making a couple more hats. Um, my mom really likes this one, so I might bring it to her for Christmas, but I don't know. One of the things that I've also been doing is with some of the smaller, like, leftover bits of red heart yarn, like she was a red heart yarn lover. <laughs> um... I've been making little hexagons. Well, they're not really, they're not like the African flower hexagon. Okay. Um, but I've been making these tiny little like scrap hexagons and I'm going to make it into a, like a blanket. Um, because she and my grandmother, they made lots of blankets like that. And so I thought it would be kind of cool to take that. But right now I've got like mostly browns left in the scrap box I can I can get it on our ad break and show you like what I've been doing so I was thinking maybe I'll use some of like the hat yarn to just add a little bit more color to all the browns and then like whatever is left once I finish all like the scrap yarn I'll make into more hats internet crash no worries welcome back Wow. Can you all hear the, the clicky clacks? She could make these so fast. Not really, no. I need to make like a video of it for the internet. Because it is such a satisfying sound. <laughs> nice. 
How many are there total? See, it's funny. I have like larger needles from Aunt Shirley, but I'm like, no. I'm going to use the ones that were with the hats. Use the ones that she had. But it does mean, it does mean that it gets really crowded. <laughs> you are flying through them. And an extra five. Oh my. Oh, well, I mean, to be fair, it's almost 4 p.m., so I didn't think it was two. Time zones, man. I will say one thing that I was really happy about with this hat was that the um, the color pattern, right? Like the, the numbers worked perfectly. So it ends, it ends with like the dark blue, like it, it just worked out perfect. <laughs> like the top, the top ends with dark blue and it's only like four rounds. Now another fun little, fun little Aunt Shirley fact, my uncle Reuben, right? her husband he he used to wear her hats like this like this like not covering his ears super like like all the way <laughs> like his ears would be out and it would be like just covering like the back of his head it was the cutest thing i don't know why I looked at the clock and was like, how? Yeah. I hear ya. You're fine though, no worries. Funny, I've also been working on my knitted cardigan. I have 116 rows done out of like 160, so it's getting there. Well, for just the back panel. Then I have to do the front. It's fine. It's fine. And the sleeves. Don't worry about it. Um, but like doing these hats, I'm like, wow, I get through these, ro these rows so fast. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. How was everyone's weekend? 
Anyone do anything fun? Crafted. I was productive. I tried to do the cricket print and then cut with the stickers. It's not gonna happen. First of all, I couldn't adjust what type of um, <clears throat> print it was on the paper. Like, you know how you could be like, this is photo paper. I couldn't adjust that. And so when I did the test stickers on photo paper, they printed fine. They dried correctly. These ones, like, still haven't dried. Um... And the color is just awful. So I'm going to have to like cut them out by hand. So that's a thing. You have to make choices. Mm. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad that her procedure went well. And that she'll be home tomorrow. Got your WoW character to level 80. Is it, like, uncapped? I've never actually played WoW. I haven't played WoW in years. Yeah, I've never played. AD is back to the expansion. Gotcha. for the work. You know, I don't know how long it takes me to do a row. And now I'm like, oh gosh. I know that I had 12 of them to do. I've done three. This is the third finished one. Is that the rejection sensitivity dysphoria? Is that what makes me be like, oh my gosh, people are going to hate this? And like, I should, I should find out if everyone's enjoying this. Is that what it is? Is that what's causing me? Yeah, it's that. Fab. Love that. Cool. Because my brain's all like, this is, this is boring. No one's going to want to watch you do this for, like, nine more rows. You should change. Change back to crochet. Or everyone will hate you. It's great. 
them gremlins, man. No, hey, you know what? Again, I am all for expressing how things go in my brain because maybe there's someone else out there who's like, oh, son of a, that's me too, you know? So, like, I'll share it because maybe someone else is sitting there going, oh, is that why I do that? I, I don't know. Maybe it's also because it's repetitive. And, like, with crochet, you get to, like, make something and, like, you can see the progress easier. And so that's why I think it doesn't bore people as much as, like, knitting. I don't know. Oh. Mm, don't oh, thank you all. I appreciate you. <laughs> like crafting energy and chill vibes. I can provide that. No, see, I mean, I'm still doing it, even though my brain is, like, being dumb. I like to share when my brain is being dumb again, because maybe someone else is like, oh, hey, my brain's dumb the same way. Thanks for, like, like, the other day over the weekend... While I was working in my office, I had a couple of different, you know, streams on in the background. And someone was talking about their agoraphobia. And just listening to, like, someone else, I'm like, it just made me not feel like, oh my gosh, it's, you know, I'm, so, I'm being so dumb about this. Or, like, you know, you should just get over it. Like, hearing that there was someone else out there who was going through something similar for different reasons than I am. But it... It was just hearing, like, the common, like, hey, th I understand that. So I, I like to share those things. Um, not only because it, it helps to talk them out sometimes and be like, oh, okay, I, this is what's going on. But to also, again, if someone else can be like, oh, then that's just a bonus. something I share so it feels good to connect oh thank you Minnie I appreciate that really hard too it's important to talk about yeah yeah um because I didn't realize that I had rejection sensitivity dysphoria until I was older um and realizing it has has helped but it's also it's still a learning process because in the past my mods can tell you I would like go into discord if it got quiet in, ch in chat and I'd be like everyone hates this don't they and they'd be like no you're fine and that's the rejection sensitivity dysphoria is me being like afraid afraid of people rejecting me or you know felt well, that way when we were talking about the migraines the other day it's important to like normalize it and all the same like what Sam just said too like I didn't know that that was a thing because maybe someone doesn't know about it and they hear it and they're like oh my gosh wait that sounds like me or that sounds like a thing I go through like maybe maybe I should talk to someone or maybe next time I talk to someone I could bring this up or you know whatever oh no you are not alone it's still there for me. It's gotten worse. I'm really excited. I have therapy on Thursday. One sec. Um, I have therapy on Thursday, and I'm excited for that. Um...
It's my fault, isn't it? Yep. I recently, I know that I kind of expressed a little bit about um, this person, a previous mod of mine, who I reached out to about some things. And like some of the stuff that she kept bringing up, I'm like, I don't think that she realized that like when I would talk to her about these things, it was exactly that wish. It was, well, surely if someone reacted this way, it must be because of something I did. And I would, I would talk to her because I thought that we were friends, like that that was an okay thing to like talk about with her. And not that it was going to be like brought back up later. Um, and it was not like to complain or to be like, oh my gosh, like this person's doing this. It was like, why are they doing this? Like I was looking for someone to help me understand because in my mind, the only rational reason, like in this case, it was talking about back then, again, this was about two years ago. Keep this in mind. Okay. The, this stuff got brought up in a conversation recently. This was, this was a year a year and a half ago okay I've since gotten loads better like I, I understand it now it's no longer an issue my mods can attest to that too I used to take it really hard when I would go when I would raid somewhere and I would see people from my community that I hadn't seen that day in someone else's stream no 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 brain that's okay people are allowed to have multiple places they hang out and they don't have to be with you every day. But in my mind, I was like, oh my gosh, they're here, which means that they hate me. I must have done something to push them away from my community. That could be, that's the only reason. And it's not the reason at all. And it's not a problem for me anymore. Like I don't, I don't care if I raid in or I go to watch someone else's stream and there are people there, but it was one of those things where like, I would, I would ask like, why, why is this person, why, I haven't seen them like, it would be like for like months or weeks or whatever. And I'd be like, I haven't seen them. Like, did I do something? Cause in my mind, I'm like, maybe, maybe the mask that I would put on every day, like to function as a person, I'm like, maybe that mask slipped and I didn't realize. And that's why they left. And so it was like my way of trying to be like, what did I do wrong so I don't do it again? Even though I did nothing wrong. Like it had nothing to do with me. And it was, you know, then they would come back later and I'd be like, oh, okay, look, see, everything is okay. Huh, okay. But like, <laughs> it's one of those things where I would just instantly be like, it's my fault. I did it. I'm the problem. No, you know, and it was the most wild thing to me to realize one day that it was not a health, like, that's not how it works. <laughs> and then it was really wild to have it constantly, like, have it brought back and, like, put back in my face, like, and you would do this, so, like, of course I was afraid of it. And I'm like, but, but that, that was a mental health thing. That was me trying to work through something. Like, that was... That was kind of like an autism anxiety thing, you know, like, cause that's, that's how those, those sorts of things work. Like a lot of times for people is you don't understand the social cues. And so you're just like, I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> like, I don't know if any of that made sense. If that was longer rambly. Um, and I also hope that no one, no one felt like, oh gosh, I have to be here all the time. Please don't, please don't, please, you, you don't like very genuinely. I hope that you, you know, watch things you enjoy. <laughs> it took time. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was trying to figure out again, in my mind, what I did wrong. And then, then when I got like shut down over it, I was like, okay, so it, it's gotta be me. <laughs> And now I'm like, no, people, people can have friendships and like, just because someone is, is in another stream or doesn't come to yours for a while, doesn't mean that they hate you or that they're not your friend anymore. <laughs> it's such a weird, mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Like I don't go to the same streams every day at the same time. Why would I expect anyone else? Do you know what I mean? Like it was such a weird 
thing, but in my mind, I was like, I must have pushed everyone away. Everyone hates me. I, like, it's just one of those... It's wild what your brain can spin. You know? One big thing, helpful thing is talking to someone so they can help you work through it and steer it away from I did something. Yeah. Or like the other day, Kit Kat, when I was like talking about stuff and I was like, I must, I must be a bad friend. And you were like, why do you believe that? You're like, why, why do you believe that when, like, why do you believe that person? And it was one of those things where I was like, because they have to be right, right? <laughs> like, it, it threw me because like I... You know, you talk to friends about all sorts of stuff. And it was one of those things where I was just like, because everyone else is right. I, like, I, I didn't know. Hi, Blueberry. Sleepy as heck. Long heckin' day. Minds are so powerful. That makes no sense. Mm-hmm. And your brain's like, I don't care. I don't care if it doesn't make any sense. I don't care. I'm going to believe it. And you're like, okay. Your brain's like, it's logical to me. <laughs> I'm getting warm in my hat as much as I like wearing it. I think it's also because I have a cat sleeping on me. We're going to take that off for right now. I'll put it back on if I get cold. Your brain doesn't care if things are logical or not. <laughs> Especially like neurodivergent brains are like, this is a great idea. I really like this prompt you gave me. I'm going to run with it. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I did. They are so rude. Like the other day I was talking to James. I don't remember what it was about, but he was just like, man, brains are so weird when you really think about it. He's like, they're just like, what did he say? He's like, they're just, he's like, it's a clump of like, what did, what did you say, James? It was a, he said it was like a, a thing, something just firing off like, you know, electronic messages. And I'm like, yeah, and some of us have really messed up electronic. <laughs> like, they can't read it right. <laughs> like my, my brain's over here just like, hmm, I'm going to take what you said. No, yeah. <laughs> a giant squished muscle that's pulsing electricity. There we go. And I was like, and some of us, some of our brains just don't use that electricity, right? Oh, this thought we came up with, it's a whole reality now. Mm -hmm. It just does not compute, yeah. My brain's card reader is definitely broken, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And that's why I share these stories and these, like, I don't know. I guess I try to be transparent because it, it might help someone else. Like, I didn't need to share the thing that I just shared, but maybe someone else is like, man, that makes sense, like, why I struggle when I see, you know, friends hanging out together and I'm not included or whatever. We can all be ourselves, exactly. Literal stray electricity. You don't say, good to know. One thought and suddenly I've imagined everyone hates me and it, mm hmm Oh yeah, but you cry about it anyway. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Oh shoot, we're about to we're about to go into our stretch break. Okay. 
Um, we're going to play another round of Gartic phone or Gartic on stream. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a bunch of like pictures that are being drawn and you just have to try and guess what's being drawn. You can just, you get to keep guessing. There's no cooldown on this like there is for words on stream. Um, I thought it would be fun to try something a little bit different on this Monday. Um, so... Yeah, we're going to take a quick stretch. Don't worry, you will not miss out on any amazing knitting content. Um, and then when I get back, we're actually, we're almost done now. We're going to be doing decreases in another row. Some of them draw like they had a lot of... <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. All right, I will be right back. We can continue this conversation. Thank you all for listening and just being awesome and amazing and I love you. Okay, be right back.
god, that was great. <laughs> this was rigged. James, you literally guessed horse shit. I don't think it was rigged. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I guess train first. It does get hectic. It's fun though. And like, it was Subway. I feel like we need a summary at the end of what each one was that was guessed right. Mm. That could be cool, like if you could actually like see something like that. Oh god, there was a pile of poo, there was. I understand. Like long nails. Very skinny ones. It was zebra poo, apparently. You just had the wrong animal, James. You have to <laughs> you have to study the poo more closely. You're the poop master. <laughs> Weirdly specific. We start our decreases on the next round, row, whatever, same thing. I thought that the dark chocolate was clever. I saw, I think Luna got that one because I was like, I couldn't figure out what that one was and I saw like, I looked up when it was answered correctly and I'm like, I have to stop at some point, right? Oh my goodness. So guess what Maple did this morning? It was the cutest thing. Oh, it was you. So he's never done this, but he finished his breakfast, right? And normally he has a bath before he comes and he snuggles on the couch. Well, he just came up onto the couch and I was like, okay. And then he came and he sat on my lap like he normally does. And I kind of, you know, I gave him some scritches, but I could tell by the way he was sitting that it was not scritch time yet. So I, I took my hand away. You know, he took a bath on my lap. Like he sat on my lap and cleaned his little face and is like, right here like he does after every meal and I was like like it was the cutest thing this is just like this is a good spot I know so precious baby
can get more butt calls. Oh. I get a lot from my dad. <laughs> it's always great when you answer and like they don't respond and you're like, hello? Anyone working on anything today? These rows go quicker now because it's I'm gonna decrease a whole bunch. Nice. We did patches nails this weekend. Craft crochet. Oh. Working on a butterfly. Very nice. Oh my goodness. That's stressful, Allison. Worth it, but it sucked, yeah. You can use it as a nightshirt. That's always frustrating, like when you make something and it doesn't come out the right size and you're like... That was definitely like a huge fear of mine when I worked on that cardigan for James. So I kept trying it on myself. Mojo kick. Your mojo kind of went away. Oh. Ooh. That sounds cute. Yeah, I didn't really have, like, my weekend was weird. James, James worked, let's see, he worked third shift Friday into Saturday, which means then that he didn't get up until, you know, late afternoon, and then he went to work again that night, which means then that Sunday he got up again, like, two o'clock, and then he had curling, so we got to spend, like, six hours together this weekend, total. But you know, it's funny because like, I'm extremely grateful that he is not working road trains anymore. Like he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to stay in the hotel anymore. He doesn't have to do anything like that. And for that, I like, it's so much better. He's in, like everything about this job is just so much better. But I'm like, I miss my husband. <laughs> and I think that I feel it more now than when we lived in our apartment. Because when we lived in my apartment or when we lived in our apartment, I had more people around that I could like go to see and interact with like here we don't really have like a whole lot of friends like yes I interact with all of you but like it's not in person if that makes sense like my parents aren't nearby well they're near but like they're not just like hey I'm just gonna like hop in the car and drive for like 10-15 minutes to go say hey um and so I think that might be why it's become more, like, noticeable, where I'm like, dang. I just want some time. But I'm just, like, I'm so, so happy with 
where he is now. And I know he is, too. In person is different from online. Yup. Agreed. Yes. And I think that it's also hard, too, like, when all I have to do all of the critter care. Because critters can be very much like children. In the sense that, like... When they need something, they're going to need it, like, right then. Or, like, they, they want to climb all over you when you don't want them on top of you. Um, or, like, it's just, I don't know, like, it's, it's lovely to have all of my pets, but there are some times when I'm like, I just want someone else to feed them. <laughs> like, I just want to not have to be on, if you will. Like, I want to just, like, sit and not think about them. <laughs> And then be like, okay, I want to snuggle. And then just go do that part. Um, but I'm grateful for it. I really am. Like, I can't complain. I can. I can, but I can't. You know? Like, I guess I should say I shouldn't complain. I'm very lucky. Haha. <laughs> Well, it's nearly 4.20 here. Nice. It's also, like, one of those things, like, love languages are important to learn. Because, like, everyone's different. Like, some people want that, like, physical... Like, not necessarily, like, intimacy... But, like, physical, like, contact, like, snuggles and hugs and, like, I want to just lie down, like, on your shoulder and watch a movie kind of thing. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely it would. I would, I would be miserable without my animals. I love them so much. Cuddles, yes. I think it's difficult as neurodivergent, too. Like, a lot of the time I don't want to socialize, but there are times when I need to. I don't have to mask with. Yep. I understand that. Or that maybe, like, I feel like I always have a mask on. Always. But, like, there are people who I know that I can let it slip in front of or around, and that's always beneficial because, like, I don't have to worry so much. Same. Same, crazy cat lady. That, that's actually part of the reason why we now have two cats. Um, was because I decided to befriend Maple, who's our other kitty, while my hubby was deployed. Because <laughs> I decided I needed another project besides just, like, keeping the house up and running and taking care of myself and the dog. So I decided I'm going to befriend this cat who hates everyone. <laughs> And now he's my baby, and he, like I said, he took a bath on me this morning, and it was, like, the best. Me and my brain. <laughs> oh, it's a very rare, like, I constantly, constantly have TV, radio, streams. I, I don't do quiet, like, ever. Because I don't like to be alone. Like, if I'm alone with my brain, it just runs. And it's like, let me let me make up some, some scary things for you. To, like, problem solve and work through. And you're like, please don't. Please don't. 20 years in the Navy. Wow. Yeah, my hubby did nine years in the Army and he's now in the Air Force. My, I have to cut my bangs. I can't put, I just trimmed them the other day. And, like, they don't feel too long. But the fact that they keep, like, they don't want to all sit right is just making me crazy. <sighs> Why it makes your ears ring?
multiply. Oh my gosh, I keep accidentally splitting the yellow yarn. Yellow yarn. Um, say that five times fast. And it's making it so that I can't do the decrease right. <laughs> by myself yeah there are people in the house I did it again oh I don't know about anyone else's brain but sometimes like if it is quiet Say I went from like you know the living room like today I went from I walked through the living room to the bedroom put away all the laundry and in that short amount of time there was like a little infomercial jingle on the TV and then my brain just kept playing it over and over and over again and I was like nope can't do this anymore <laughs> turned on Pandora and I was like oh thank god like, if there isn't noise, I will happily provide noise for myself. <laughs> like, what's that? No outside stimulus? Let me play you. Oh my god, all the time, Allison. All the time. One line, part of a chorus. Yep. I do that a lot. What was that? Shut up, yeah. Just one or two lines, mm-hmm. Sometimes it's not even the words, it's just the music. Or again, like, add jingles. Oh, God. The worst. It is. make me feel better though well I mean it's trying to take away the quiet it's trying to it's like I know you don't like quiet here let me help it's so random too I have no idea where some songs just pop in from <laughs> how about this does anyone else just randomly make up stuff like make up songs Or, like, randomly make up lyrics to the- like, 
you've never heard it before it's like not a real thing and that repeats and you're like please shut up i don't this is not this isn't a real thing yeah see now singing like made up songs to the critters yes i do that too however when it's just like a random like it sometimes sometimes it's just like noises like it's not it's like humming and you're like please don't please don't oh my god no one said mambo number five i saw a thing the other day that said mambo number five but all the girls names are cheeses and that made me laugh For me, it's usually just to the doggos. I make up a lot of songs for the animals, too. <laughs> it's like when one of you guys does, like, an alert here. For like Ducky Momo or Secret Tunnel. That's that. That's going to be in my head the rest of the stream at least. Why did you set this up? <laughs> Alerts? Alerts? Thank you for the bits, James. Mix in and... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, goodness. We're just a whole bunch of neurodivergent goobers, and I love it. You all are my people. Very truthfully. Also, welcome in, sci-fi gal. Sorry. ADHD brain said welcome in my head but not out loud <laughs> they'll be freaked out and run away I'm pretty sure I would freak out and run away too. Not with you, but from myself. Like, I don't know that I've ever just completely been unmasked ever, really. Like, I've had breakdowns and I've had, you know, like I've had things, but like, I don't, I think like the closest I get to being like unmasked is when I stim when I'm really like, anxious about something because like it's obvious then like you can't hide that <laughs> mm -hmm, no i get that coyote happy to be here all oh, <laughs> almost done with this A lot more unmasked as a child mm -hmm. well that's actually something else that like i kind of realized with what i was talking about before we had our our first stretch break which was me me freaking out about like oh did people leave because i like showed too much of myself and that that really came from like being i very distinctly remember in middle school was when all of a sudden i realized that my mask could fall and people could tell that like something was going i mean they didn't understand what was going on but i remember like being made fun of i remember like 
<laughs> back in the day of like disposable cameras and not like you know taking a picture on your phone um you know like me and a group of friends all got mood rings could it be any more 90s anywho we all got mood rings and we took a picture together with like you know like freaking power rangers mood rings and I remember I told you all that one of my my things when I'm anxious, like I'll bite my cheeks or like my tongue or I'll do things like that. Well, evidently I had done that while the picture was was like being taken. And so there I was, like they made copies for everyone, like this roll of camera, you know, like all the friends. And I remember, I don't remember. It's funny because I, I used to remember what was written on the back of like they, I guess they just made like, they gave me that one where like I was looking different, if you will. And I remember that they like wrote something nasty on the back and that was like the first time that I realized that like people could know. And I think that that's when like my masking became even more like got to be perfect it's got to be perfect so that you don't you don't show yourself to people so that you don't push people it was I, I still remember that like middle school how long ago was that all right it's a hat it's another hat Huzzah for hats, yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to get like too real there with anyone. <laughs> Really hard to unlearn slash unmask. Mm hmm Agreed. Those things stick with us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so easy to remember, like, negative things than it is to, like, think about good ones. And it's just wild. What ages are middle school? Fifth, God. Like fifth, sixth, seventh grade, eighth grade. So, I wanna say between like 11-ish and 14, give or take. Um, some schools are different than others. Like some have like, upper elementary schools which are for like grades like three through five and then their middle school is six through eight like there there's kind of it kind of depends but in between like that yeah Preteens, teens, yeah, young teens. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and depending on when you're born, like, there's all sorts of things that it can depend on. Um, like, we had up, well, is this an upper elementary school? It was. This, that memory that I'm thinking of is actually from the upper elementary school. So I was, my, we had... Our elementary school was K through th th four. See, and this is the other tricky thing is that they changed them as I was going through the school system. So by the time that my brother went to these same schools, it was all different. 
Um, but upper elementary for us was like four, five, and six, and then middle school was seven and eight. Grade wise, not age wise. Puberty stress. Mm -hmm. Junior high, eight to twelve is high school. Gotcha. Yeah. Everywhere's a little different. Trying to like make sure that these stripes line up. Morning, Emily. What do I need to do? Oh, see that? That really hurt. That area that's sore. division at all yeah well and again everywhere like does things a little bit differently like some people have like grades separated and then I know that like Susan for instance their grades are kind of like combined which is super interesting and then it can depend based on whether it's a public school or a private school or Catholic school like so many different <laughs> So many different things. BRB, okie doke. It's all confusing is what it is, yeah. My goodness, is it really almost five already? How? When? Why? This year you have two grade one class. Interesting, cause Monday. We literally, I literally like got swallowing my drink as you all came in. Hello, Raiders. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Hello, is it Kells Bells? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Who's messaging me? TikTok. Oh, and evidently a message. I love these. These are my favorites. I think... I think that the this is a super legit message from Amazon. What do you all think? Look at the address that it's from. Oh yeah, that's definitely for real Z's Amazon. And then to restore my account, I have to click this link that's not an Amazon link.
definitely legit. <laughs> Welcome in everyone. My name is Megan. I am a neurodivergent variety streamer. It is, I, wow, blah. I mostly cross stitch crochet and knit. Um, today I was working on finishing up this hat and then I will be working on making Han Solo. Um, so yeah, welcome in. Let me know what you were up to today in your stream. Um, my, my brain is all over the place right now. I use she, her pronouns. I forgot to mention that. Um, yeah. Hi. Super legit. Not sus at all. I'm still waiting for my million dollars from that, that prince that I gave my social security number to. It was a joke. It was a joke. Don't do that. Starting a cardigan today. Ooh, how are you making it? Are you knitting it? Are you crocheting it? Sewing it? There's so many ways to make things. I'm gonna sneeze. Um, and medieval torture. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Well, welcome and thank you so much for bringing your community here. I appreciate it. Um. Knitting. Very cool. No, he's gonna give it to me. Yeah, no. I, I still just, I'm waiting. That's all. I know that I know that the money will come. My night my prince would never lie to me. Alright, hold on, you ready? You freaking bangs. It's a hat. It's a hat. And with that, y'all, I finished all the Aunt Shirley hats that she had started before she passed. It's actually navy blue. Oh, that actually, wow, the camera looks really good with that. It's navy blue and yellow. It is special. These were the last two ones that I had. Now, I did finish two other ones that she had started, but I didn't finish them correctly. Um, because I didn't figure out her decreasing until this, like, recently. Um, so I might honestly pick those rows apart. Like I might pick apart the top where I messed up um, and just like fix that since I know, but they're all done. I do still have, I have plenty of yarn and I now have a pattern, which is even better.
Ooh, nice. That's like a gaming PC. Probably going to order your new desktop today too. I need to get, well, it's funny, I don't need to. But my Mac is 11 years old. It's pretty full. Um, and it runs very slow, but it's still my computer of choice. Like for instance, when I sent an email earlier today, I don't know who got emails and who, you know, might have read them. Um, but I did send an email earlier today, did that from my Mac, do all my website updating from there because it's just the picture editing and all of that is just so much nicer than PC. Should be able to run Planet Zoo, yes. You read it? Yay. I wish I could play Planet Zoo. It makes me nauseous because like you can't fix the cameras like or the controls the way that you want to. Um, you don't need to either, but occasionally end up having your MacBook overheat. Mm. Yeah, see, like, I would, I would love to get another, like, Mac, like, desktop. That's, that's what I have here, is a desktop Mac. Because, like, everything is, like, in there. You know, my PC, it's a tower, it's two monitors, it's all this other stuff. Um, but my Mac is, like, self-contained it's great but at the same time I'm like you know having having a um like a Mac that I could bring with me now granted I have my iPad which I can do a lot of stuff on but like I can't do everything on and it's like oh it just the cost of it to me it's just more logical to get another desktop but not not anytime soon because yeah not a necessity, a want, you know? Uh, Planet Zoo has a Yeah, it's really annoying. Like, I'm, I play a lot of Sims and things like that, so I'm used to my mouse moving, you know, in a specific, like, if I, if I drag this way, the, the camera's gonna go like this, and when I do it this way, the camera's gonna do that. And to not have the ability to change that in Planet Zoo, to me, is a huge miss. Like... absolutely like a horrible like why wouldn't you make that accessibility available to like invert your controls planet zoo makes me dizzy too i can't play it i love watching people play it i i purchased the game and then returned the game because i couldn't play it oh big stretch back there um oh we didn't play our raid video for our raiders shall we play the raid video not me like five minutes later realizing just long enough that I could return. <laughs> oh no, that you couldn't return it. Oh no. Well, that sucks. Yeah, let's play our raid video. And then while, while that's going on, I'll get the stuff that I need to start on Han Solo. And we'll work on that for just a little bit. Okay, be right back. I hope that you enjoy our raid video. And yeah. Hello to everyone. Say hi. Megan and welcome to my stream. <laughs> we have cats and hats. Dear diary, dear diary. I dressed as an orange for you. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it's so cute. I can't. <laughs> I love your face. <laughs> Nailed it first try. And welcome to my birthday stream. Less than three trillion three hundred thirty three billion three hundred thirty three million three hundred thirty three thousand three hundred thirty three. Love my family at the moat. Artemis is staring into your soul right now. Y'all look at it. You're getting so much maple silly now. You like the lesbian?
enjoy this video if you, you do make, make sure you hit that follow button <laughs> so raiders and friends of the moat I have a question and that is are you ready for some shenanigans oh slash in chat if you are I'm so sparkly so sparkly. All right, Raiders and Moat friends. So sparkly. So sparkly. Let's get some shenanigans. Let's get some readies in the chat. I have looked at like three different colors for hair for Han Solo and I've been like, no, not that one. <laughs> to each one. So I know I was going to be getting yarn while that was playing. I didn't. I'm going to keep getting yarn now. Um, here, enjoy, enjoy Artemis. Oh, you can't really see it. Skin color, maybe? Honestly, part of me is just thinking, like, do I do this for the hair? That might work. He's kind of got, like, like, brown, but, like, almost like a dirty blonde in certain, um... pictures. Chili looks like he's in shorts and a crop top and I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> Chili needs to get brushed a little bit more. Like the face, that brushing is good but needs some more here. I just wanted to like get everything on so I could at least show you all how cute Chewie actually looks. And not like a penis anymore. That's, yeah. He did. He did. What do we think? I think this for Han. Light bright, yeah, it's it's funny, like looking at pictures, it changes depending on the light. Do I have a lighter brown? I've got like that, that's really light. Blue and gray for Han Solo, Harrison Ford. Oh, maybe this one, this one. Yeah. I think that's a good brown.
She's like, hello, I'm here. I'm awake. I'm working hard. Hard worker. My yarn bowl's over there. I keep forgetting to bring it back over here. She is very sweet. Ooh, ads check. Good call. Okay, we will, thank you so much for that reminder, Allison. We will be having our last stretch break here in about three minutes. Um, so basically while Twitch plays ads, I take a stretch break. We play, we're actually playing some Gartic on stream today. Yeah, that's kind of what I was, like, he's, yes, Emily. Yes, that's basically, it, it, that's why I'm like, this, this is kind of nice, because it's like a, it's a light brown, like the one in the book, I have no idea what you're talking about there, Fog. Um, in the book, it's really dark, and I'm like, that's not right, so... I think that this is kind of good. It's got that, I don't know, I feel like it's different and different. That's what I said. I'm looking at pictures of Harrison Ford as like young Han Solo and I'm like, in one picture it's like dark brown and in another picture he's almost blonde and I'm like, <laughs> Uh, we have we still have like another minute but we will we will be playing some gartic on stream oops i always do that and then we'll we'll do a little bit more of this jump the gun you're okay you're all right people can see it now before we all start guessing at drawings i'm curious like Gartic. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to do that, and I will be back right after these messages. <laughs> be right back.
Man. <laughs> I literally took a screenshot. Because I'm like, what the heck were some of these? Like, what the heck was that? Like, was it like a moldy blanket? Like, what? <laughs> And then it was some kind of like a shark. Like it had to be some kind of like specific one. Oh, hello. I know that I type faster on keyboard than I do on my phone. So... They could be two words till near the end. Yeah, we're kind of learning a lot with this. Um. Hi, honey. You gonna go get something to eat? Mmm. Your phone likes to tell you I meant a different word too. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, mobile delay is not fun. She's such a weirdo. Two orange kitties are sisters? Oh, orange girl kitties are very, 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 very rare. Most of the time I just keep typing words. Like, she's an orange kitty, an orange girl kitty too. But most orange kitties are boys. Only two seconds behind on mobile. Oh, that's not bad. For mobile, that's really not bad. Oh, I'm glad she's eating. She she has not eaten a lot today, which is fine. I mean, we all... There are days where you're hungrier than others. You can use the on-screen chat, and when you hit send, time the delay. Yeah, you can. Most of the time I can't tell how behind I am until we play a game. Yeah. Well, with this one, you don't get locked out. You get to, you can just like keep typing. Like you can type as many as you want, like back to back to back. So that's nice. I feel like they, the drawings are, they go slower as the rounds go on maybe. Like, it's not quite as fast. Yeah, so we can't free feed Maple. Maple will eat until he explodes. Um, Artemis, we can free feed. But we also, we divide her her meals up into four, like, separate meals a day because she would end up, like, we used to just feed her twice a day and then we switched to this food, which she really, really likes. And so she would, like, finish, like, we would feed her in the morning and we'd feed her, like, around dinner time. So, like, we do with the other animals, you know, say eight, eight in the morning, eight at night kind of thing. Well, she would eat all of her dinner like, and what was supposed to be, like, overnight food, and then be, like, outside our door meowing in the morning. So we divided up, like, the the meals, if you will. So she gets, like, a quarter of it in the morning, a quarter of it in the afternoon, a quarter of it at night, and then a quarter of it right before we go to bed, and she's happy as can be. But she, she free feeds very well, which, again, she had to have been someone's cat at some point. Um... And another way that you can tell that Maple was truly feral, because he finds food and he's like, I'm eating this now. Like, 
he's gotten into my office before when Artemis's food has been down and he's just like, don't mind if I do. Yeah. Well, Maple was feral. He was a wild cat, like truly wild, had no human interaction. So even though he's been inside now for almost 11 months, he's still in his mind, food is like, eat it all right now. Don't know when it's coming again. And it's like, you, you get fed at the same time every day. But such is the life of a kitty who had to hunt to survive. Found pretty quickly by a friend. Bottle raised. Oh. Dry available all day, but she gets wet twice a day and meows if I'm late. Yep. Oh, yes. Maple, like, people are always like, you know, does he mind being, like, alone? Does, you know, does it bother someone? Like, no. The only time that he ever complains is when it's dinner time or breakfast and he hears me get up in the morning. That is the only time that you hear a peep out of him. Is like, I'm getting up in the morning, like, just getting dressed. Haven't even taken Patch out yet. And he's like, Wah. I'm like, I know. I, I get dressed. I take Patch out to use the bathroom. I feed Patch. I wash your bowls. And then I feed you. Like, calm. Calm down. I haven't forgotten. That's the only time, though. And it's funny, because then at night, you know, he gets, he comes up and he hangs out with us for a while. Um... And people all the time are like, oh, I bet that he's so miserable and lonely down there. Well, it's funny because like clockwork around 1 a.m., he gets up from wherever he is, whether he's like sleeping or playing or whatever. He gets up and he goes and he waits at the basement door because he's like, okay, I'm done. I'm ready to go back down. To and the basement door is open, but he wants me to walk him down the stairs. And give him some scritchies and a couple of treats. And he just, he's like, okay, that's it. I'm good. I've had my quota. He's so lanky and will run anything off, yeah. He might not. Interesting. Yeah. Like, it's one of those things that if he and Artemis were ever able to, like, cohabitate, which I'm hopeful for still. I'm, I'm definitely... I am hopeful for it. Um, and I might, you know, try and figure out some other ways that we can get them interacting. Um, she would have to have, like, a room, like, you know, say my office still, that her food and everything was in that only opens to her um, microchip because otherwise Maple would be in there all the time. <laughs> no human interaction, yeah. <sighs> it is. He, he likes his time with us. Like, again, I spend about 45 minutes to an hour with him. About 45 minutes now. Um, in the morning and at night, for sure, every day. When I go down to do laundry and stuff, we hang out too, but those are like guaranteed. And it's funny because like he'll hang out, he wants scritches, he wants pets, and then he's like, okay, I'm done. And he's gotten a lot better about like not nipping at your hand. You know, he has not bitten in a long, long time, but he'll like nip at your hand sometimes when he's like, I'm overstimulated. He gets really good now about just going and sitting in his box. Um, it's his all done box. He's like, I'm good. Thank you. Um, thank you for the love and the treats, but I'm, I'm good now. <laughs> and that's that. He's good for, you know. Oh, of course, as soon as I put the camera on her, she stops. 
She, she has a little catnip fish taco toy. Camera doesn't want to focus either. And she just was like picking it up and shaking it. And it was really cute. Have a good night. She says, no, I was going to just take a bath now. I'm not doing nothing, mom. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys some of their more recent interactions. It's so funny because... There we go. Right? Like... far but he'll like turn away and I'm like he's just he's just sniffing like everything's fine <laughs> like she's just so dramatic but like there's not like he walks slower now towards her like here here's another one. Oh, gravity falls is on the tv see look at him he's like he meowed to her And like, you know, they have, they have their moments where like, they do really good. And she's always the one that tells him off. <laughs> now, he has swatted at her through the gate before. I just need to be certain that there's not going to be... <laughs> He didn't move. Like, he, that was really good. That that time there was no hissing. There was no anything. They just, like, both kind of, you know, hung around each other. I just have to be sure that there's not going to be any biting. That's really it. Like, like more than, like, play biting. You know, like, anything that's going to, like, that's the issue. Is that it can't be any kind of, like fight because I wouldn't forgive myself if he gave her FIV but I definitely do think that like having some like supervise visits again upstairs like how we used to where like I have a pillow and James has a towel and we're ready to just like chuck stuff to break anything up um, might be in, like, the future again. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, even months ago, before we knew about his FIV and we were trying to have them, you know, become friends, he never, like, they went for each other, they hissed and there was nastiness, but, like, I know that if he wanted to, I, I've seen him hunt, I know. I know that if he wanted to get her, this looks so pale on the camera, and it's really not. It's... I think this is good. Yeah, that's like the same color. I was like, maybe this yarn, it's literally like the same color. We'll do that one, though. Because, um, like, they're not in any rush to become best friends, so I don't need to be in any kind of rush, you know? She's just, she's having a great time right now. She's currently in a box. Such a cat thing. Hi. Oh. 
You good there? <laughs> did you miss, like, did you miscalculate your jump? It's okay. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. I should probably wrap up. It's funny because, like, my hand really doesn't hurt. It's like up here that hurts. But because that does still hurt, I probably should wrap up. I'll finish this round. Hello and hello kitty. That's Artemis. She, uh, she's a goober. Sounds like it's time for a heat pack, yeah. Yeah, I did that this morning. It's just, it's so frustrating to me because now it's like the other side of my body. Like that's not the side that I normally bother. And again, I really think it's just from the way that I was holding that cross stitch the other day. So. It is what it is, but. Hopefully resting it like I've I've also been putting on the um steroid cream that I have and like sleeping in my brace at night just so that way like I can't tell you how many times I've woken up to like my arm or some part of my body like bent in a weird way and so I'm like mm, if I wear this then at least I know it's not going to be like bent at like a 90 degree angle all night or something stupid. And that seems to be helping. So hopefully I'll be back tomorrow and we can just continue. Um, Cause like if it bothers me a lot, I might have to take off. I really don't want to. Um, or maybe I can see if like something like diamond painting um, is okay like we'll figure it out we'll figure it out okie dokie um thank you all so so much for coming and hanging out today i really appreciate it i hope that you have an absolutely wonderful time zone um hello you're back of course thank you all so much for the fabulous conversation today too um i will be uploading my vods from last week to youtube today i ended up not getting that done this weekend but it happens oh cute kitty thank you this is artemis she is a very big helper aren't you are you the best big helper You're such a sweet baby. We gotta get you some Christmas gifts. We got Maple a new scratching post. Yeah. Look after that arm. I will. Eee! <laughs> I will. I'm gonna go and put um, heating pad on and 
probably not craft for the rest of the night, which sucks. I don't enjoy that, but I might work on uh, trying to get those stickers printed instead for my uh, Patreons. Um, Cause I tried, I tried doing the, if you weren't here earlier, um, I tried to do the Cricut print and cut and the quality was crappy and the stickers like, they, I guess because it wasn't, it didn't re like register it as photo paper, it wasn't printed right. And so they were smudgy. Like I could still smudge them now. It was, it was a nightmare. So I'm going to have to hand cut all your stickers. All you penny pals out there, you're going to get hand cut stickers. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy them. All right. Um, let's go ahead and roll some end credits. Thank you all so much for being here. If you would like to join our Discord credits, there it is. Um, that's the best place to find out what's happening with stream. If the print cut is terrible, it's awful. Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't. So I'll be figuring that out as I go. Um, please feel free to join our Discord. Yes, there's my social media. Let's copy those raid messages and let me, I'm just seeing who's making what today. Um, thank you all for being here. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!